Hello, I'm Paul Hutton, President and Wealth Manager of Hutton Wealth Management. Welcome to our new monthly series called the Top 5 and 5. September is Life Insurance Awareness Month. According to a 2019 study conducted by Life Happens and LIMRA, nearly 50% of Americans say they have no life insurance coverage at all. So what we want to do is talk about the top five areas that we feel that you should be aware of when considering life insurance. Number one, let's consider what is the role of life insurance. Realizing the role of life insurance can play in your family's life's finances is important first step. Another critical step is determining how much life insurance you may need. Several factors will affect this cost and availability of life insurance, including age, health, the type and the amount of life insurance purchased. Any guarantees associated with a policy are dependent on the ability of the issuing insurance company to continue making claim payments. Number two, what are your insurance needs? One widely followed rule of thumb for estimating insurance needs is based upon income. One broad guide suggests a person may need life insurance policy valued at five times their annual income while others recommend up to 10 times one's annual income. If you're looking for a more accurate estimate, consider completing a detailed needs analysis. This analysis takes into account a wide range of financial commitments to help estimate your needs. You will need to add up all of your needs and your obligations. Number three, let's talk about term insurance versus permanent insurance. Term life insurance is temporary and provides a death benefit for a specific term of time, such as 10, 20, or 30 years. Unlike other types of life insurance, it does not accumulate cash value. When the contract ends, so does the coverage. On the other hand, permanent life insurance remains in place as long as the policyholder makes payments. These policies are designed to build up cash value, a cash reserve that accumulates with the policy. This cash reserve pays a modest rate of return, but the policyholder has limited access to the funds for a period of time. Number four, short-term and long-term needs. Which funds will you need to be available for final expenses? These may include costs of funeral, final medical bills, and any outstanding debts. How much to make available for, for, for short-term needs will depend upon your individual situation. When thinking about long term, ask yourself, how much will it cost to maintain your family's standard of living? How much is spent on necessities while factoring in expenses such as travel and entertainment? Finally, number five, how do you choose? Term life insurance can be designed to provide protection against upcoming expenses such as putting children through college. While permanent life insurance can be more useful for covering long-term financial needs, such as estate planning, long-term care, and those types of things. Many people find that they have a combination of short and long-term needs. In such circumstances, it may be a good idea to have both types. A basic level of permanent life insurance supplemented by a term policy. Talk to us about it. We'd be happy to help you with that. Too often, life insurance is overlooked aspect of personal finances. I see it over and over again. A review of your situation may help determine what type of life insurance is appropriate for your needs. Please contact our office today to, to discuss your life insurance needs. Thank you.